The pull to spend your money on gambling is more high-tech than ever, and it's aimed at the chemistry in your brain. But in Rhode Island, less than a quarter of 1% of gambling revenue is spent to treat addictive gamblers. In this week's Street Story, Highway to Sue's reporter Walt Puteau talks with one local addict who was on the way to losing everything until she got help. You see flashing lights and maybe coins dropping into your pocket. But technology designed by master psychologists is potentially changing your brain's chemistry. There's a lot of stimulation. You can play this once every three to five seconds, at least. What was a $100 a day hobby added up fast for situate resident Sandy Hall. I went through in excess of $40,000, probably close to 60. I turned from this moral, ethical person into a lying, cheating, deceitful, manipulative person that I didn't even recognize. Rhode Island's gambling venues will rake in hundreds of millions of dollars this year. The state dedicates only 75000 to help addictive gamblers. That is supposed to be enough for the Rhode Island Hospital Gambling Treatment Program to help everyone who comes forward. And like Sandy, discover how the sights and sounds of a casino are anything but a jackpot for the addict. Some of the receptors in your brain start going, they, they misfire. You are describing a drug, aren't you? I am describing a drug. It is as addictive as cocaine and heroin. You need to either take more of your drug or you need to, you need to spin the wheels on the slot machine again to keep it going. Sandy found a way to stop, but even after two years without gambling, she knows she can't even flip a coin anymore. That if I let this disease open up just one small door, it will consume me again, and I cannot risk that because my life was horrible. A study indicates this addiction grabs about 2% of the population, but those addictive gamblers contribute about half the revenue to casinos. Walt Buteau, Eyewitness News.